great one. Nigga, you gotta do this shit. Nigga, do this. Nigga. What's up, baby? Raw rap rapping this motherfucker. Raw rap, rap, sleep. Sleep, dog, dog, fresh, whatever you want to call me. I mean it, ho. What's good? What's good? What's good? This is Bread Truck Bang, you know what I'm saying? Here with Mastermind TV. Today we interviewing Raw Rap Sleep. You know, Raw Rap Mafia. Raw Rap Money Hunters. Y'all know how it go. Okay, we're going to get right into it. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. All right. I know. Well, you know. You know what I'm saying? We've been partners for 15 years plus, you know. So pretty much I know everything about you. So... Since the mail truck. Like a motherfucker, so shit. Tell the people about you. Tell the people where you from, you know what I'm saying? What's your Ooh, name? Shit. I'm out there Ward, Phil Ward to be exact. Phil Wild, Texas. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? I'm from West Street, 1700 Ways. You know what I'm saying? The dark side. The dark side of the tracks. Don't let anything go. Okay, okay. You see your life, family. Cross the tracks, huh? West Street, yeah. Cross the tracks, baby. All right. Okay, so ain't no fine ass bitches, none of that shit. No crack. You know what I'm saying? No. Like crack. a motherfucker. Yeah. No so shoot. so no dig shoot. this. No. Alright. You go by your rap name is Dog, you know, Dog Fresh. My rap name I have many. Okay. My rap name uh Sleep Dog. Mm-hmm. Dog okay. Fresh. Yeah. Sleepy the Great. Sleepy. Yeah. Sleep. Sleep. Whatever they want to call me, I'm BMI registered, so whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So basically, uh, I'm going to say this. I'm going to ask you this. If, so depending on, depending on your name, depending on what name you're going by on a, on a certain track, you know, does that differ with your delivery on how you, you know what I mean? It's different. All of them, uh, different characters. Yeah, you know yeah, that's what, that's what I meant. That that's what I'm saying. Like, so, OG Fresh yeah. and Raw Rap Sleep is two different deliveries. Two different. Two different yeah, okay, okay. It's two different vibes. You know what I'm saying? OG Fresh come from Dog Fresh. My boy OG, uh, my boy Peanut. You know what I'm saying? Peanut got the racks. Rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? OTB Peanut. You know what I'm saying? He gave me the name OG Fresh. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Okay. All right, so. I know that y'all are unsigned now, you know, and so tell me about your label situation. How is that, you know, how is that going on? Y'all looking for a label or y'all trying to basically nah, we, uh, manage, you know, independent, way, basically? That ain't the way no more. Uh, I'm signed to myself. I'm signed to a label called Raw Rep Records, which I am the CEO of, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Me and uh, my co-partner, co-CEO, Raw Rep Shorty Quan Pacino. Shout out to Quan, man. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out my boy. So and we not uh we not we not looking for a label as far as the man I mean money is money the money come we damn sure going with the money yeah but uh we just you know what I'm saying running our own business running our own labels as a major label okay at the time you know what I'm saying we got our own distribution mm -hmm. and we got our own label we got our own publishing so that's basically a record deal and so it's, basically it's everything everything with your with raw rap is basically. In house, y'all don't yeah. go out, you know. Y'all everything in house. Everything in house. Okay, okay, yeah, that's the way to go. I ain't gonna lie. Extended arm or the family. Yeah. That's just how we rock. Okay, I uh, tell the people about some of your show experiences and how you feel about having a fan base. Uh, shit, I've been having a fan base since I was fucking 15, 16 years old. Standing yeah. Standing on the table, rocking crowds in the lunch. At lunchtime and whatever school I was at, Bob yeah, was at you know lunch. what I'm saying? Since BSH, yeah, and oh, um, shit, I done rocked every big show from big venues to every major artist that ever came to Houston. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They know me with the rub shoulders. They see me rock out. You know what I'm saying? All kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, as far as I'm doing the shows, I done seen it all. I done done it all. I've been doing this shit a long time. Yeah. Okay. Baby boy. Okay, so you said BSH. I remember BSH, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. My boy Baby Boy the Great. Don't yeah. get enough. What's happening, fella? What's happening, man? Don't get enough. What's happening? What's happening? Yeah. What's happening? Boy, baby boy. Yo, yo, Mike in here. Yeah. Yeah. I got pull up, gang. What's happening? What's up, girl? Hey, man, I'm about to say, I'm about to say, you ain't like no see her. 
what I just said. I yeah, just said what's up on the girl. Yeah, way bragging about yeah. you. Yeah, <laughs> bragging about you. We got that real route shit, man. We in here. Yeah. Yeah, y'all know Boy, what baby it is. boy stepped in the building. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Man. Tell us about you. Give us a little bit about yourself, baby boy. Ain't no man say, man. Baby. You know, it's that real raw shit, man. We ain't playing no game. We stepping on toe 2020. Yeah, hey, yeah, baby. Ain't playing yeah. with shit. That's where I've been. Big steps. Real toe, man. Okay, okay. From a number fifth wild, nigga. Okay. The Hit right hard, way. nigga. The right way. All right. Man. So, hey, fresh told us you. Fresh told us he from West Street. You know what I'm saying? Let him know where you from, baby yeah, I'm boy. I'm from Cobra Park, man. You know what I'm saying? 5300. The Bricks, Brits, man. Yeah. Yeah, they know what it is, man. Already, already. Only on camera, man. man. Yeah. Man, you two of the niggas, man. Out of the world, man. Okay, okay. So, Dog Fresh, now you was telling us about your fan base. You say since you since you jumped out the porch 15 years old, you been having a fan base. Real talk. I ain't having a fan base, man. I don't even just call it fans because shit. I just, with the people, I call them my people. Yeah. You know <laughs> people base. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Base. Fan base. Yeah. <laughs> fan base, cause I, don't, I don't look at motherfuckers as a fan. Motherfucker, uh, just rep for me and want to hear me rock or want to hear me speak, period. Because I'm yeah. going to speak that real. Whether it's on the beat or on the street, goddamn. That real, that fact, raw man. shit, huh? Fact, yeah. Okay, okay. All right, so you said. I heard you know what I'm saying. I remember BSH back in the game, you know what I'm saying. Ball slash Give, yeah, baller slash hustle, you know what I'm saying. Give us a little bit about that, cause I, I ain't gonna lie. I remember, I remember when you, I, cause I know you, you know what I'm saying. You been rapping, but you know what I'm saying. A lot of them, shit. A lot of y'all, you know what I'm saying. When y'all first jumped out, that rocking, rocking like that, you know what I'm saying. Baller slash hustle. That was the first one. And, they hoe really got y'all really popping like on some shit like yeah, shit. Nationality, man. Shout out Jay Gotti, man. Big James, man. Jay yeah. from the streets, you know what I'm saying? Bracket Boy B. International Spook. Rap like Big Spook. I would rap like Big Spook. Big like boy, a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Big Josh. Big Josh, goddamn me. Hey. Snack, snack. Hey, man. We we had been doing that shit. Them boys it's actually. Original shit, man. Them niggas actually had the group BSH. Before I even entered, the James put me in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they was already up and running, nigga. And I came through and I came and I added what I had to add to the situation. That's before we discovered Martez, because, you know, Martez, young Martez, shout out to young Martez, as really? y'all know him right now. Yeah, they really? uh, We discovered Martez, you know what I'm saying? Dancing and weedly popping it. Pop yeah, like yeah. <laughs> pop like this shit. Yeah, huh? I remember that. He used to be going against Elton right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah I remember. Yeah, yeah. He used to be dance, battling and shit. You yeah, know what I'm saying? but me, nah, me, me elevating at a young age, and I already knowing how to peak talent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, yeah. I kind of knew that he. You know what I'm saying? He had a little something. He had a little something extra. So yeah, we yeah. added him straight to the group. We went to go do yeah. rocking like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he had a voice, though. We went to go do rocking like that yeah, at your boys. cousin house. J Rock at, Studio. J Rock Studio. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what we did yeah. rocking like That's what we used to record, bitch. We used to record at J Rock Studio, focus on cash. Shout out to them boys. You know what I'm saying? We used to we used to record there. And we I remember we brought on Montez that day. I wasn't even supposed to be on the track. Yeah, yeah. He wanted right. duck. Yeah, he wanted to duck I on that hoe. Quack Daddy. Original BSH. Original BSH, yeah. man. He wanted, he wanted Quack Daddy, and um, I kind of jumped on that bitch and smashed that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Undeniable. Yeah. Like I planned. Sleep dog, fresh. Who the fuck want what? Uh, yeah. Way. Nigga uh, barking at the dog, not chopping his ass up. You know what I'm saying? All right, so, you know what I'm saying? Tell me where y'all support come. Where does most of y'all support for raw rap come from? Most of our support come right from our fucking community. Any rapper that want to be real or on the raw way path as the path that we chose to take, yeah. nigga, you got to conquer your community. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people go outside of their city or go outside of the community, and that's the new wave of blowing up. That's not the route that I took. That's mm -hmm. not the route that, I, that me and the label took. Or yeah. nigga, that's not the foundation that I set. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. We start from motherfucking the projects where you hang at. Like yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Rapping yeah. in the circle. Mm-hmm. 
on to the studio, go get the CD to your homeboys, get the approval. Yeah. On to they passing the CD around, saying, did you hear this sleep verse? Yeah, on to going man. on to the big dogs, on to block parties. Back in, field, back in the days, you know what I'm saying, you know, a lot of young people ain't... But back in the days, man, Phil Wall, we were known for black boys. Yeah, that's yeah. like you know, you're gonna go get your shine on. You fuck out. if you're in the slab riding competition, and if you're in the boxing competition, rap, you freestyle, the freestyle rap. Whatever, Whatever you want to do, yeah. meet me at the motherfucking black party. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like meet me at the mic, man. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's how we knew. Non-stop. That's how we like knew we really had something in our section. Non stop, yeah. Non stop, I ain't gonna lie. Every black party non stop turned the hood up. Every hood, I ain't gonna lie. Every time, for shit show. Say, man, you know, I used to open up for non stop, man. I was just personal. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Man, you know, Lil Marshall used to get that bitch off the chain. That's how we used to do it if a nigga had something dope. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for real, though. If you ain't fuck with that mic when we out there. Yeah, in the mix. Yeah, you use a Petey Weedy. Yeah. 12 minutes, man. Yeah. Huh? Okay. So, besides rapping, you know what I'm saying? What a... Besides rapping, you know, as your first, as first, I know rapping is your first love. Besides that, you know, what else? What else do you do? I mean, shit. As of now, I'm, I'm, I done got of age. I know how to run a business and be a black business entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. But coming up, all I knew how to. I'm from West Street, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a different breed and, and different rules and different mores. You know what I'm saying? Seriously. So all I fucking knew how to do was ride, man. And yeah. That's what I did. That's that's how I got into people's heart. You know, if I love you, I'm gonna ride for you. I'm gonna show it. You know, whatever, whatever. And I'm gonna be the one. If you ain't the one, I'll be the one. Like motherfucker. And I ain't mind standing behind you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't yeah. mind putting my name and my legacy on the line for you. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I did. And I wrote. Yeah. I yeah. ain't do shit else. But we ain't standing for fucking niggas right now. We ain't yeah. for no right now. <coughs> I ain't gonna lie. Ever since I know, you know what I'm saying, you, yeah. There you go. You know what I'm saying, this my boy Ice and Mike, man, you know what I'm saying, I ain't gonna say bodyguard, you know what I'm saying, but my nigga gonna guard, gonna guard me, gonna point guard it, you know what I'm saying, gonna sham guard it. I see everything you don't see. Real talk. You know what I'm saying, where you from, Mike? 1700 block, west, the way, way. Yeah, okay, okay. Wild, wild west, man. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay, you, so basically, you raw rap. Bodyguard, hitch me. You're going to take some down, huh? The right way, though. Like a motherfucker, huh? Whatever they want me to be. I'm playing my position. All the way around, huh? Real talk. Real talk. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, we coming a new way. We coming goddamn Rockefeller way. Yeah. So everybody that's of the label, everybody that's a part of this label, building this label, man. Like we, like you, like y'all know, we got baby boy, the motherfucking great. We got scientific young guard. Yes, sir. We yes, got sir. three, three, three straight out the fifty three hundred. Yes, sir. We yes. got C two young nigga straight out fifty three hundred. Mm -hmm. We got we got La Mexico. Okay. My young niggas. Okay. Of course, we got Crop Quan Pacino, Rao Rap Shorty. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? CEO and uh, artist, uh, Rao Rap. You know what I'm saying? You got Kiara, man. You got to put her on the guy because she a part of me, man. man it's <laughs> All right. Really? Camp, the camp. All right. Loaded, really? though. We got Champagne Wayne. Champagne Wayne. Rao Rap Wayne. Rao Rap Nunu. Man, Rao Rap Nunu, man. Yo, like, big part. Man, it's the right out. Y'all right check out that 50 on the glizzy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right Featuring Scotty Kane on YouTube doing, going no. numbers. Yes, numbers uh, like stupid. Y'all ain't like one of us. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The All right. Okay. okay. We got a bunch of talent, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it sound like y'all boys got a bunch of talent, so as far as, you know what I'm saying, you telling me about all the talent, so she telling me, tell me. What music y'all got coming? Like I said, it's different denominations of raw rap. So we got we got uh, music coming out across the board. You know what I'm saying? From yeah. from each artist that I just named. You know what I'm saying? Three three just walked in right now. Three three right there, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Hold on, let me get your man's in there. Three three three. Three three three. Yeah. 
Three, three. Let me get you the highlight right quick. Tell the people about yourself. Drop some for me. Shit, I got a lot of shit dropped. I just dropped the video yesterday called Murder. That's on YouTube. You know what I mean? Dropping. Yeah. Got a lot of shit dropping. Yeah. 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 Ye
I didn't want to be the known rapper on the unit or none of that shit. You know yeah, know yeah. I just want to be me. Yeah. I want to take things. Pretty Stop much, me. pretty much stay out the way, basically, on yeah. some shit. Yeah. Okay. But shit, far as in, far as in, like, the hood and shit like that, man, it was great. My niggas was doing it. My niggas held the dime. My tears held the dime. Quampatino held the dime. The whole group held the dime. And we, uh... We built, we built a whole motherfucking platform for, for the people that y'all niggas jam today. That's why I built it. We built that shit. And can't nobody take this shit away from us. Yeah. And we right back on their neck, standing in their chairs right now. I still fuck with the same people. Okay, that that goes in, just what you said, goes into my next question. Uh, the same people you started with, are you still down with the same people that you started with? Hey, yeah. Still down. Martinez yeah. just left the about this motherfucker. And we ain't accepting no new niggas. Nah, we ain't accepting too many new niggas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You right. I said, Mike. We ain't accepting too many new niggas. What you niggas, said, Mike? We is not accepting no new niggas, man. My nigga spoke on this shit. Lie, man. He Tell said me. what he said. Stepping on toe, man. Like a motherfucker. Okay. So, uh, how did y'all go from. I'm going to go back a little bit. How did y'all go from BSH to NPS? Shit. Like, what was the transition? You're going to keep from some shit up. The transition was this, <laughs> nigga. The BSH, me and JP left BSH. A uh, rapper like came and snatched us out the group. Yeah. Boom, we was finna sign a rapper like. Me and JP from the streets. Mm -hmm. They snatched us out of the group and they try to make me, him, and Baby J. R.I.P. Baby J. R.I.P. Baby J. They try to make us a group and we were in a record like a little album together and shit like that. And they kind of created some static in BSH. Boom. Mm -hmm. Snack Snack came along and Snack Snack wind up going to get BSH on legally in his name. So... I no longer wanted to rip it. Yeah. So therefore the group broke up. Long story short, Martez was doing an album, a solo album then, and he wanted so many features from me, and he wanted so many features from Pop, which is Brick City Howard, NPS member, you know what I'm saying? Brick City Howard had his own label, so for real, and his own movement going on. And we had never rapped together. We used to actually rap against each other. We mm -hmm. had never rapped together and then by me and him being on so many songs on Martez solo and he in his new situation, the album was called Martez Pop and Sleep, which mm -hmm. was the original name for MPS. Okay. And again, but before the album came out, I, I went to prison. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I went to prison then. And by the time I came home, it was back BSH, but it was just a whole new group. Instead of the album being called MPS, we turned the group name into MPS, which formed this Money group and this group and made a big old made a big old group six members it was five members and we added Quan Pacino. okay Real okay time. that's what's up that's what's up okay so from MPS to Raw Rap you said once y'all basically it was legal issues on how y'all basically we got fucked Okay. Basically. Hard. Hard and long. Yeah. Hard and long with no permission. <laughs> we got she fucked. She right. Nigga you know ain't know what's going on. But, you know, God is God. So, like Martin used to try to put it to me. Like, maybe maybe it was just God intervening that we wasn't ready. Yeah. Because, you know, with this, with that power and that success, bring a lot of evilness in, into a situation. And yeah. no matter how much we jam, no matter how much we made number one, no matter how many records we broke on requests for 97, 9 of Bites, no matter how many BDS spins or, or how many out-of-town shows we did. The nigga stealing before the money even came, nigga, man. We ain't understand the business. Yeah. 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 The nigga was stealing before his money even came. Okay, so basically you say y'all didn't... They go to D. Y'all ain't understand. So y'all didn't understand the business, so basically, basically, yeah, since y'all didn't understand the business, you know, the label that y'all was under, they basically kind of took advantage of y'all. Yeah, yeah, New Day Entertainment took advantage of us, Mr. Sam Harris. Yeah. yeah. See, and we was, we was kind of being sparred at the, at the time, because we ain't never, we been doing shit on our own. Yeah. But we understood that we was doing shit on our own. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? 
Okay, go. Y'all go. Explain that to me a little bit. You wanna get on the camera? <laughs> Come get on the motherfucker then. Oh, why you get on there? Come here. He having a little intervene, intervention all in the middle of the he motherfucking interview shit. shit. <laughs> Okay, so, so look, so explain it to me a little bit, a little bit more about, about the label. Shit, um, Mr. Harris was a, was a, um, you know, he was a businessman, he was a hustler, he was more of a hustler businessman, you know what I'm saying, like a sheep in wolves clothing, we could talk, we would talk shit and, and, and cuss somebody and talk to him crazy. But at the same time, he knew damn well we didn't know the business. We was just young niggas. We didn't know the business. So the, the shit that he fed us and fed to us, it was it was golden to us. Nigga, we, we on tours and shit. Yeah. Nigga, we out of town doing shows three times a week. Mm -hmm. Nigga, we fucking hoes and hotels and, and nigga just doing Fifth Ward shit all the way outside of Fifth Ward. Man, we loved it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's different now, you know what I'm saying? For for a motherfucker to call you and be like, "Hey, you got this show, that show, this show, this show. You make this, 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 and that. Hunt, sign this." Okay, shit, hell yeah, huh? You know what I'm saying? I ain't checking no numbers. We ain't checking no numbers. Or and, and a nigga corner a nigga corner us into you know a, a kind of fucked fucked up ass contract to where he owned all the shit. You know what I'm saying? And we ain't get shit on some pay him back type of. Uh, Scenario, you know what I'm saying? So it was it on some shit like, uh, let's say like, basically like when y'all looking for the money, he Still looking at the, he looking at the books like, well, well yeah, y'all was in the room, y'all got the room, and then we got the flight and the travel and all this shit. So basically, it was like, but, like you said, like y'all ended up owing him in, in, in a, the end in a, in, a, in a contract. Mm -hmm. Shit like that paid for already. Supposed to be already paid for. That's Understood, yeah. When, when you're in a contract with a venue. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Not a club. When you're in a contract with a with venue. With a venue, yeah. A motherfucker got to pay for your expenses, your travel, your protection. Mm -hmm. All that's in my contract before I sent to you. So he ain't had no reason to charge me for these things. Yeah. But we ain't got enough nuts or enough brains to challenge that shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We just also, okay, okay, okay. Shit. Okay, yeah. Then it turned out it went from 15000 to... 30,000 to 50,000 in a hole on just making one motherfucking album. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, at the end, like, I remember, because I remember, like, because I was trying to tap in with you and do some tracks, and you was like, man, we, we really can't do shit right now, like, on some shit, like, so all that was basically, like you said, on it's legal issues, basically. Nigga signed us to a major deal, but outside of the major deals. Yeah. Like, it took for us to so win our contract. So it was a major deal outside of a major label, basically. Basically. And, and with no advance. With our no advance, advance. Our advance was the shows. The shows. and We guarantee y'all three shows a week, or we guarantee y'all at least six shows a month. So it was, was no guaranteed money? money? Was no it guaranteed way. money? Nah, but it's the money now, so we, we seeing the money and gotta bust this shit down, but, you yeah. know what I'm saying, at, at, at the time, we thinking the money there, we ain't understanding like, nah, motherfucker, you supposed to give me this, and you supposed to give me that, Yeah. to sign this. Uh -huh. so we ain't understanding none of that shit, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Or the publishing, we ain't understand what publishing means, and this and that, so... All this shit over with now, though. I got my own motherfucking publishing. I got my own motherfucking label. I got my own shit. And that experience taught me the importance of that. Okay, that right there. Again, that goes into, that goes into my next question. So that was basically, like you just said, that was basically a learning experience for you. So now you're more wiser to the business. You're more wiser to the business and now you understand that it's more than just rapping, you know, it's... Man, I just, man, it, in recent time, in them years and years on moons on moons ago, mm -hmm. I just sat in my motherfucking house the other day and found that and looked up something, or looked up a publishing company that was entitled to one of our videos, and I go look the bitch up, the bitch owned by Universal. Yeah. So the whole, basically the whole time we down there in a deal, but we, we, we kept in the blind. Yeah. 
we kept in the blind. So it's money being exchanged and passed yeah. around. So and we ain't told nothing. It's, we it's a bunch of money being exchanged, yeah, but yeah. it ain't coming through y'all hands. It's, Hell it's passing yeah. y'all right by. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, so that was a learning experience for you. So, man, we got to they they waited two weeks without a contract. We have we have different managers. We have different investors. Mm -hmm. All these people involved in our in our business. Mm -hmm. and, but all of them in cahoots on what's being bust down between them. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Besides, Boom. Boom was part of our management crew, like legally yeah. part of our management, but he was more street and to us than to yeah. them. So, the, into, yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. Got, so he, he was. He got that dick too. You know he was saying? more he was more catering to the artists and yeah. rather than to, catering to, to the, the label. management side because we got a team of Yeah, managers. yeah, yeah, okay. We got a team of investors. Okay. And silent partners and shit like that. Okay. So it, take, it took for all of us to contracts to be done and dealt with and to holler at like uh, B King management at the time, Tasha. Yeah. For her to school us on some like, nigga, y'all got paperwork with contract records. Nigga, y'all got job records off of y'all 500,000. Universal dog. I'm like, damn, them three major motherfucking labels. I ain't never talked to nobody that got damn goddamn chick. You know yeah. So we just had to wait out our time. Okay, so y'all had major labels during the MPS time. Y'all had major labels we reaching out to y'all. And y'all didn't, by y'all not knowing the business part, y'all didn't even know that major labels was even trying to reach trying out to, to y'all. Get, get at us, but his intent was. Because he got other artists besides us. You know yeah, what yeah. So his intent was to bring on his whole label. I understand that now my by me running a label, I don't want like a motherfucker come trying to sign me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As like Carl, you know, Carl Cropper from 1501, shout out 1501. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In, in, in our first conversations, nigga, I always told him, nigga, ain't no just signing me. Ain't no just signing me. So we can figure out a way to make this shit work because I got five, six, seven artists. Yeah. Nigga, you need to sign this label so everybody can have a budget to eat and to grow like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right, so tell me a little bit about, let's go into that a little bit. Let's go into the 1501 a little yeah, bit. Yeah, baby, let's, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Tell me a little bit about the, tell me a little bit about the 1501. How y'all get tapped in with 1501? <laughs> How y'all get tapped in with 1501? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raw Man is bitch. Okay, we got Raw Rap Shotty coming in. Corn yeah, yeah, yeah. Pacino. What's up, baby? What? Keep Pacino coming in. Oh, yeah. Raw Rap Numa coming in. Yeah, you got okay, they coming in now. Oh, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay, what's up? We got. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. 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 So let's see. Nah, yeah, we rock, man. Nah, yeah, we rock, bro. This sleeping, this baby boy. I'm Pacino. My nigga Nuno, T boy. Huh? Champagne. Turn around, champagne. Champagne Wayne. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Whole team slid in now. Yeah. All right, all right. Let them know, shit. It's every day, so. All right, okay, okay, okay. So did. All right. So. All right, we been, we been, all right, we gon', we gon', we gon' let y'all know. When y'all walked in, when y'all walked in, we were just about to talk about the 1501 issue. So. No, I'm saying coin. Since yeah, since you, I was just about to say, since you are co CEO, also a raw rap, you know, let's get okay. you to tell us a little bit. Of, you know, tell us about that the 1501 issue. I just got a DM talking to Carl Crawford right now, like ten minutes ago. Yeah, another classic on the way. Yeah, the Rice the Rice mate. Huh? That's the fam. That's okay. That's the fam, man. Okay. Okay. So, how did y'all get tapped in with? With 1501 with Carl Crawford. Was it, you know what I'm saying? Is it just on some hood shit, you know? 
Yeah, really more yeah. time bro from bro from the ward. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hardest boys. Yeah. The hardest rappers in the in a in a in a ward in the city. Point blank like what you want them to do? Like a motherfucker. You know like a motherfucker, huh? Gotta come on home, Jack. Yes, sir. Fam though, man. Show us a new way out of eating, man, out of them streets, man. Yeah. Okay, with the blueprint. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna ask you this. Since uh did did y'all learn? Uh, did y'all learn more as far as the business side from 1501, you know, from Carl Crawford? Did he, you know, school you boys on the business side a little bit more than y'all already, you knew, than y'all already knew? Yeah, he schooled, he schooled us on some shit. We already knew a bunch, you know, we've been in the game, but he schooled us on some shit that we didn't know, some shit that can help us eat, man. Yeah. Shit that can help us eat other than be famous, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, nigga, I'd rather be rich than famous. Ooh. Rich than famous. Ooh. Yeah. Talk real, man. Hit the AC more than one time. Keep going. Who here died of the Yeah. Okay. So, did. All right. We're going to focus on y'all a little bit. Tell me a little bit about you, Corn Patino, you know. Tell me a little bit about yourself. You know, let everybody know what it is, what's going down. I know you got that little baby on it, on Apple Music, you know, it's doing numbers. Yeah, that, 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 that little baby doing numbers, you know what I'm saying? But long story short, I am Corn Pacino, you know what I'm saying? Corn yeah. Cocaine, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Farrah Corn or something. Yes, sir. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mr. Taysom. Mr. Taysom. Yeah. Hello, man, I'm freestyling, man. I can't say that shit again, mastermind. All right. <laughs> so, dude, <laughs> peep this. Bro, Rap Nunu, you know what I'm saying? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Man, fresh out the east, you know what I'm saying? The east of the east, man. Long live Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Came back together on some hood shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Tell me, uh, tell me a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Tell me a little bit about you got some new music. I tell me, uh, matter of fact, uh, before you, before y'all walked in, Sleepy shot at you out about that. You know, told us about that fifty on the glizzy. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah, 50 on the Glizzy, about to do 50,000 views. Mm -hmm. We can talk, 50 on the Glizzy, shout out to my boy Scotty Kane, man, on that feature. Doing numbers, huh? Bad motherfucker, man. Real yeah. talk, shout out to Scotty Kane, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Bring all this From that boot, yeah. Real talk, and that raw rap movie, he peak dropping. Yeah. 12 minutes. And raw rap, shout out, and raw rap, sleep, you coming, man. What y'all niggas gonna do when we start dropping this shit, man? Huh? Real talk, shit. Okay, uh... <laughs> Tell me a little bit about it. I seen on the gram that you okay. had a a store with, you know, with, uh, you got some gear going around, you know what I'm saying? Real talk, you ain't want us apparel, man. For real, for real. Been around since 2014, I want to say. If I ain't, if I ain't. Look at them giants. Look at them giants. Real, for real. Mm -hmm. Made a lot of money off clothes alone. Yeah. Business, okay, so you got your own gear? All around hustle, man. Mm -hmm. On gear, on TV show, mm -hmm. new event TV. I rap, all of that shit, man. Got a documentary out about me. Beast of the East, the documentary. Go look it up. About to do 200,000 views on YouTube. Yeah. That's what I did. It's working, man. Yeah. Okay. Beast of the East for real. So, Big Pacino, tell me a little bit. Tell me a little bit about the music you got coming. I'm saying I got a little music with J.P. Phil Ward coming. I got a song with Martez coming, man. I just talked to Sleepy yesterday. We probably gone ahead and dropped the album. You know what I'm saying? And my nigga dropping a dolo, dolo, baby boy got the dolo coming. Yeah, T boy just dropped with keys, he got the dolo coming, man. And all kind of shit, man. Just tune in. Stay tuned. Okay, okay. Tell me something, man. Tell him I'm out of there right now. Anything, <laughs> anything. All right, so look. Nah, we gonna keep it all the way 100. All this gonna go, you know. Yeah, all this shit is real footage, man. This is 100, man. So look. Know what I'm saying? Tell me about. Tell me a little bit about. You know what I'm saying? I seen some shit on. You know what I'm saying? On the news, you know about they were trying to. Basically trying to put you in a situation, you know. Oh yeah, that's old. See, I can speak on that now. That ain't no other case no more. I already beat that. You know what I'm saying? They just try to slander my name, but when you're young and you from poverty, like a 
like a gangster neighborhood and the people more scared of your voice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They scared of the power that your voice holds. You know what I'm saying? Church community. So they gonna harass them, nigga. Yeah. You can't stop us though, man. This shit still going on for years, man. Yeah, yeah. You can't name a nigga in Houston been doing this shit as long as us and still relevant and still moving. And we don't got no major labels. We ain't got a motherfucking manager. We don't got no lawyer. We don't got none of this shit. You can't name a nigga, man. Yeah. Got the streets, though. Got the streets. For real. They, they, they is us. Need. So, I'm gonna ask you this. Uh, Tell me, is there anybody in the game? Is it anybody in the game that you, you know, that you want to work with? I know you're a CEO, yeah. but you're also an artist too. You know, is there anybody, you know, in the game that you would like to work with? You know. I really ain't got nobody specifically. I'd be like, "Ooh, I can't wait to work with him." Type of shit. Twenty nineteen, we we trying to get our people, people up out of here, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so every like I said, like I was telling Sleep, so basically everything is in house. You know what I'm saying? Y'all doing everything in house, yeah. on production, everything. Yeah, we fuck with everybody though. Like we got some on with what? Fast lane, we got some in house. Big poker, we got in house. In house, we fuck with everybody. Yeah. As far as like the fitting up, damn, I can't wait to get to this level to fuck with this nigga now. Nah, nah, we, we, we got us. We fucking with each other. We got us. Push. We got enough fire out here. All we gotta do is make them pay attention. Exactly. Tune in too, goddamn. All right, tell me, uh, tell me, was there anybody when you was growing up, you know what I'm saying, before you really just got serious about rapping, you know what I'm saying, like, who really inspired you, you know, to make you just like, rapper. man, this is what I want to do. I want to rap, man. I want to be a rapper, like. I used to fuck with, like, Jay-Z Tough and the Dipset, and I used to fuck with Lil Wayne. That's my boy, Lil Wayne. Yeah. That's my boy. <laughs> it's your man's, huh? Since the block is hot, hey, man. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, what about you? Bone thugs. Bone thugs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I ain't gonna lie. Bone thugs was the greatest for me, too. Bone thugs. Crazy bone to No, 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 bro. Do it, bro. Give me two balls. Give me four balls, then. What you talking about? Okay. Now follow me. What do they say? Now follow me now. Roll, stroll. I don't know the rest, but you don't know. Hey, you got to stand in the crowd, bro. Now he be jamming that shit, dog. All right, so look. He still be jamming that shit. 